it's crazy. And today I've just finished um, watching Orange is the New Black season five. Yeah, it was fucked up, man. That ah, uh, it was just something hilarious, very hilarious. I couldn't stop laughing. Like I don't know this one. They just made it a lot bit. They just made it too funny, man. Like I don't know. I don't remember season four or three or two or one being that funny. I mean, I like that. I'm not gonna lie. That was one of the best. This was one of the best funniest um, Orange is the New Black seasons they've done but there were so a few things that did not make sense and now I want to talk about them there were so many fucked up things about season 5 man I was just there thinking what am I watching obviously it was a good it was a good season don't get me wrong it was quite funny but the first thing I don't understand is Kapoor's girl Kapoor's girl gets kidnapped by the inmates and we don't get anyone actually rescuing her you know Kapoor's girl I'm talking about Linda when Linda gets kidnapped, not kidnapped, but when she gets pulled with the inmates, how come no one actually sits down? Or why doesn't, you know, like when Kapoor gets rescued later on, why does it tell them that Linda is still in there? Like, when, isn't that like a, isn't that like something that, that should be said, like straight away? Like, obviously there's someone in there, why shouldn't they, how did they, how did they not find out that Linda was in there as an inmate? Like, literally, we watched. Linda going to another prison at the end of season 5 and I'm thinking why how has no one rescued her I understand they probably did that to be funny but that just did, didn't make sense Linda could have been rescued by anyone Kapoor would have told um, could have told the girl the guards or anything that Linda is in there you know go rescue her but obviously we understand probably why he didn't do that because he was banging that fig figuero woman because the figua woman had come back whatever her name is the one with the long face yeah but that did not make sense i just every time i saw linda in prison i was like can they just get her out or something the other thing i did not understand is how long it took them to actually get in prison now i don't know about this but if a prison is keeping guards as hostages and it's not a maximum prison isn't it easier to just go in there and attack everyone then it's like they're gonna do anything you know, obviously they were protecting the guards and everything, but I'm sure they could have come up with a way to break in and save those guards. And first of all, what happens to that um, Judge Judy? What happens to her? Is that her name? Is that that Judy woman? The, you know, the um, the TV chef, the one that's in prison. What happens to her? Because at first they said they can't get in because she's there, but then after that she... Actually, I don't remember where she disappeared to. I'm gonna be honest, but yeah, she just disappeared at some point and she just what happened to her? I did not get that, or maybe I, I'm just forgetting stuff. But what happened to Judy actually? She just disappeared out of nowhere. Wait, I think she gets rescued, but even when she gets rescued or whatever, no one actually goes into the prison to actually start saving the hostages and stuff. You know, it's still they still come up with this bull crap. It was so messy. Like this season was so messy, man. It was so messy, but so funny at the same time. My favorite scene is when that guy, the guard, and um, they do that talent show. Seriously, the talent show in prison. I just that, that was that was perfect, man. It just it just doesn't. It's no. It's not. Obviously, it's not real. It just does not work like that. I don't think. Obviously, those methods are on some heavy drugs. But the way they came up with the idea of a prison talent show and if what that guy that guard is dancing or and whining on everyone what the fuck i was just laughing for ages also the guard dancing on those methods that took for ages like he was funny at first but then he just kept whining and dancing and whatever and i was getting bored of it i feel like that part was too long like just dance finish it was funny at first but then it started getting boring because the guy it felt like that scene went on for five minutes and I was there like wow this is getting awkward like it decided to make me cringe because it was going on forever and I was just thinking just end this bullshit it was funny at first just end it after a minute or something not five minutes also the build up to Daya becoming this badass wasn't really there like she's, she's been calm throughout all the four seasons you know but then at some point she just grabs a gun and she, put, she points it at the at the guard and then she shoots the guard that felt so random like i feel like the if that was just made up to make the riot to create the riot but they shouldn't have they should have chosen someone better for that they should have had tasty do that because tasty had some grudge against the guards because they had just killed poor say but dia killing the guy i mean not killing but shooting the guard was a bit off because then she just disappears and i feel like i wanted to see more of dia through the season because i feel like I don't know, I just felt like she 
since she's the one that shot the guard it would have been better to see her throughout the season throughout the entire season towards the end but she just kind of dies off obviously when she gets taken to max or whatever which we won't find out till next season so we won't really get more of Daya. to be fair her story is kind of dead because i don't remember what is going on in her life so I, to be fair, i understand why she had to kind of get out her story was kind of dead i still don't understand why she shot the guard they was not built up to it like we don't see anything that she has against these guards to be doing that because we understand she's got a kid on the outside but really she's been good throughout the entire thing and she said that she didn't want to be like her mom because her mom causes trouble we see that in the flashbacks not in the flashbacks actually yeah we see that in the flashbacks and then before we know she's shooting the guard that did not make sense so they build up to dire shooting the guard did not make sense i think one of the um one of the black girls should have shot the guard it would have made more sense because since pose had just died so they, they had just killed pose also the other thing that did not make sense that was clearly wrong is why they were all trying to guard the guards and keeping them and stuff shouldn't they be going after some other things like um i don't know like commissary and uh, all the stuff you get from prison or burning something or some stuff like that that crazy stuff people do in prison and stuff obviously they say that they're guarding the guards because of they want to do some hostage stuff but really i feel like i got bored of the fact that they were always guard i wanted them to do some more crazy shit like more crazy stuff i don't know maybe i i, I have no ideas i've never been in prison but the fact that they were all on to the guards and guarding them it felt like it's not something someone would do in prison if they had a day off they'll probably just lock them up and just ignore them you know what i mean not stay with them all the time and guard them also the obsession between that spanish girl and the other spanish girl the ones that sniff coffee yeah i did not understand their obsession with the guards like sniffing coffee was a bit too far you know it didn't seem real at all like if it was something that they were you know methods if they if they got the methods to be the guards you know the methods the two methods that would have made sense but this these two spanish girls that kept sniffing coffee just to stay awake to keep the guards and to just watch them that did not make sense now i think that was clearly wrong because obviously the riot took forever i wanted it to go to like episode six and after six maybe bring everyone in lock everyone up and then we can have a build up to a different story but the riot just felt like it's going for every like a loop you just kept playing around it was funny and it worked out properly but i feel like i wanted to see what the end was in the middle of season of episode six instead instead of waiting towards the end so i should have seen them going on to these bosses to their new prisons in episode six not episode 13 that would have made more sense to me i mean that would have been better because then we see a different story you know what happens to them after i just didn't think it's fair for us to wait next season because you know even the cliffhanger towards this the end of this season felt dead like i'm not excited for next season i'll still watch it i mean it's orange is the new black but i'm not excited like i was with the season four ending where we had that with a gun trying to shoot the guard but yeah i just felt like the riot could have ended in episode six and have a build up from there also the mcc says they can't go in prison because judy king is there but isn't that when they should go in? Isn't that when they should find out, skim something and actually go in and save her, get her out or something like that? Instead of just waiting outside for the, you know, for the prisoners to do whatever they want with her. I thought that could have worked better. I thought it could have been a lot better if the guards were in at first time. And, you know, it would still have been funny. They could have found a way to make it funny. But I feel like no one really cared. Like, people, hostages are all in prison and nothing's happening. You know what I mean? Whereas, you know... If you've watched stuff like prison break and other prison stuff if stuff like that happens fam they're sending in people straight away i know it's not a maximum it's not maximum security prison but still these people can hurt each other so you're just sending people like they did towards the end they could have done that in episode six or something like that instead of waiting you know to get judy king out and then once they get judy king out they can't get in because because tasty is trying to come up with this argument or a treaty to make sure they get their demands and stuff that kind of just felt boring and stuff and i was just getting bored of that part the other thing that was really wrong is how long they brought sophia in and they just took her out i i think i would like to understand more about sophia like i feel like it was so dead that she ended up in max you know she went to see the nun if the nun was there and then she found out the nun had to leave earlier and stuff but then that's how she just died off i don't know the same thing they did to that ruby rose we never saw that ruby girl again wait did she die no she didn't die did she no she just disappeared in see so that's kind of dead because it feels like they just get rid of characters without 
showing us. I feel like Sophia should have had more screen time and maybe get an understanding of her and how she's dealing with her harmonious stuff like that. It could have made a bit more sense if she had more time, but I just didn't like the way they just killed her off. Not kill her off, kill her off, but the way she, they just got rid of her, it did not, it did not seem fair for her. Because at first she seemed like an important character, you know, this season one, season two, season three, season four, but season five, it's all gone dead. And they're bringing in, they're constantly bringing in these new characters that I like, but then it's not fair that they're killing off the old ones, that the old ones aren't getting enough screen, enough screen time, you know what I mean? Also, I did not understand um, Red's obsession with Prisca Teller. Like, I just feel like it, it was all, I mean, Prisca Teller in season four stopped her from cooking and he did made all this bad stuff about her and how he, she found out that he had killed someone or something like that. But in the end, I would expect Red to be cooking in the kitchen. I mean, there's no guards now. There's no one stopping her. She should have been in the kitchen. I remember Red used to have an obsession for cooking and food like that. In this season, she was someone else. She even started taking vitamins. The obsession was unreal. I feel like the obsession of her, how she was obsessed with Prisca Teller, it wasn't real, it was just, it was dead, that part, it was dead. I missed, I missed the old red, you know, like she had, she felt, I feel like she was just obsessed with Piscatella all the time and if she wasn't obsessed with Piscatella, she wasn't red, like it was, like they brought a different red and they put her in season 5. It's not my old red that I used to like, I'm gonna be fair, she's one of my favourite characters. I just love how she's got this power over everyone and people used to respect her, but in this season it was just a different type of red and I, that wasn't fair for her character because that's not the red I know. Then the other thing that was clearly wrong is how the fuck did Freda make her own whatever? How did she find that place? How did she just get there? I understand we saw a flashback, but that was just random. That was just like, just put there, man. It felt, it worked, it did what it had to do, but it just, ah. Uh, I just didn't like it, man. Like, how on earth did she make that place in prison? And what kind of prison doesn't know or close off an old pool that prisoners can just get there? That did not make sense. Also, the thing I, the thing that I always find wrong about Orange is the New Black is how raw it is. Like, in, I think it's episode two. The guards, they stick their hands in someone's ass and they have to, or, or when they torture the guards, you know, the prisoners torture the guards and they stick their hands in their asses and stuff. Man, I was eating when that happened, you know what I mean? They should do something like a disclaimer, like you, if I'm eating so I don't have to watch stuff like that. There's a lot of scenes like that in uh, Orange is the New Black where you just, you just want to throw up. You Like, I don't think it's a show you want to watch while you're eating. There's, there's some gruesome scenes in there, like, Stuff that's disgusting, especially with those methods, their teeth, man. Fucking hell. I, oh, God. Awful. And then they showed that fat guy's ass before she stuck them in. Oh my God. Some people's bodies, they should not be showing. That was so wrong on so many levels. I was sat there watching, eating, and then they are showing this fat guy's ass, and it's so, uh, you know, the guards. And then she stuck her hand under it. Oh, why? Why are you doing this? I'm trying to eat all right do not show stuff like that that was just so wrong on so many levels please don't show any asses that aren't good if you're gonna show an ass show a nice ass i'm just gonna i'm just pulling it out there do not show me some guys ass that with all <laughs> crabby shit like oh roughly and oh my god yeah i just remembered that uh, yeah god that was disgusting man the other thing that was wrong with that chap man and Alex, I just feel like they're actually so dead in this season, man. And, and they're like supposed to be the lead characters throughout the entire seasons before. But you feel like this in this season they had no storyline. And the thing with them, their characters are always repeating the same shit. They always go through that thingy where they have a phase and they will argue about stuff that and then after that they'll get back together. Same thing they did in season four when that Ruby Rose came in the picture, then season three, then season two, then season one. I actually think it would be better if they kill off Chapman and Alex. Just get rid of them, you know. They they are kind of dying. Like they really they could have got rid of them on this season and the season would have been fine. I, I don't find Chapman funny and I always cringe when she tries to act hard because it just doesn't work you know and then Alex used to be fit but now she just I mean so used to her face and she's boring and really there's nothing good like she's they're not doing anything they're just there like everyone's out there writing in season five and they just sat there outside and it's, it's just boring and they always have those little arguments I feel like I'm watching something a relationship that doesn't work which I don't want to be watching that's why when my friends get in relationships I avoid them because they always seem not to work and I'm, I'm avoiding that in real life. I don't want to see that on TV. 
you know so I feel like they should they should actually get killed off. I'm being honest, like replace some new characters. Because what I like about Orange is the new black is that thing they do where they bring new characters, but they're really good and funny. Whereas sometimes when you watch other series, they will introduce new characters and they will be boring and they'll be, you know, boring basically. But sometimes what I like about Orange is the new black is their ability they do that thing where they bring new characters but they're so entertaining and funny and stuff. So they should just kill off um Chapman and Alex. Bye bye boring people with your boring relationship or whatever I, I feel like they should have made them a bit more interesting maybe get someone to get someone to make out with um, with Chapman and or maybe bring back that Ruby Rose girl the fit one um, in season from season 4 bring her back let her have a thing with Alex you know cause something to make the storyline the story interesting between those two because it was so boring it was the same old same old Alex bullshit that they keep going on about it was dead between those two. All right, the other issue I have with Orange is the New Black, what are you always find wrong? In general, this is for all the entire season, bro. It's the fact that every time they show titties, you know, I have no problem with titties, but if you're gonna show titties, show the good ones. Sometimes you're eating a nice meal and then you're gonna see these awful titties on the screen. Now, I'm not here to judge people's titties, but I mean, if you're a director or screen people or whatever, you know when titties are bad and good. If you're gonna show some titties, show some nice ones so people don't have to throw up and not eat their food because that's what I did. I ended up not eating. I've been starving for days because I've been watching that shit for every day. And then, yeah, so show some nice titties. If you're not gonna show nice titties, don't show them at all, all right? Yeah, but one of my favorite scenes from season five was when Tiffany sets the alarm thing on the phone and then she puts it in her vagina and then it vibrates and then she's like, Wow, the amount of girls that will be trying that tonight or after watching Orange is the New Black probably went up like I have never thought of that. That was some next level thinking. Seriously, that was out of this world. Yeah. The other thing that was so wrong is when we see them using phones and they've gone on Instagram. You know that white supremacy group, you know the ones that are always fighting against the blacks and the Latinos. You know the white group basically. Um, there's a scene when they're showing when she's arguing about her boyfriend being on Instagram with another woman and I'm thinking how did she access Instagram if they don't have internet because one of the needs they ask for in Litchfield is internet <laughs>